Within an organisation, the opportunities created by IoT are wide-ranging. So you could have opportunities in different specialisms, you could have opportunities for efficiency gains in your manufacturing processes. You could have opportunities for changing your relations with your customers, how you gather information from your customers. You could even have changes in how you manage your buildings. So the estate management department could benefit from receiving an introduction to the strategies and the technology underlying IoT. What happened in the past is um, digital or like kind of IT, so to say, was given to other people, right? So in the 80s, 90s, um, early 2000s, basically, we, we just uh, we outsourced IT to other companies. So therefore, there's um, there's a lack of capability within the organization to actually do things in a digital way, in a way. So companies are not automatically set up internally to actually translate these things or, or build these things. Here at the IFM at the University of Cambridge, we have been developing materials to help teach both technology and strategy to middle and senior managers. We give an overview of the strategies relevant for the Internet of Things. There are three broad areas. Efficiency gains within your organisation how the Internet of Things might change your ecosystem, how you interact with your suppliers, with your customers. And we also look at new products, so innovation using the Internet of Things. Our course is that bird's eye beginner's introduction to get you to join the conversation so that you can see the range of opportunities, you can understand where they all fit in that map of the strategy choices, and you have enough understanding of the technology to join that conversation. Our course materials are designed for middle and senior managers who may have no background in IT, no technical understanding. This is designed to be accessible to a wide range of people. So the ideal candidate um, for this course would really be someone who is um, within the organisation. If the IT department is non-digital but more on an operational keep the IT system going, then this will be very useful for them as well. But then as well for the operations themselves, as in the operational department, the manufacturing department, but as well the finance department and, and HR department are individuals that um, certainly from the feedback that we've received from the companies take very positive input from doing their training. Yeah, I decided to come along on the IoT course um, just to get more of an understanding where IoT can fit in the industrial setting. So I think we're all quite aware of the IoT devices that you can buy relatively cheap for the home these days, but um, wanted to find out how that the industrial side could fit into our manufacturing and supply chain operations. It's also great to actually play with some of the practical elements as well. So we've you know we've used the Raspberry Pis, we've done some Bluetooth scanning, which has been uh, really eye-opening. I think um, you no, know, it's definitely kind of early steps for us, but um, knowing how that the IoT can be used, um, particularly with the, some of the case studies we looked at, how it can you know, be used within the uh, supply chain, should be quite useful. Short executive courses can help organisations build these capabilities internally. We are not necessarily saying that you should all become programmers of Raspberry Pis, but if you have an introductory understanding, then you just build that capability throughout your organisation and people will engage with new ways of doing things rather than just doing it as it's always been done. In that way, you open the organisation up to change. You get it ready for transformational change and you can get your entire staff engaged with that change.